Craig, former athlete myself, love practicing. How do you structure your practice for golf? Well, you structure it in a way that you know you, you allocate different areas. You know, short game, putting, irons, woods. And then you'd go out and play uh, nine holes or eighteen holes, and then you'd come back and actually work on what didn't work out in the golf course. Mm -hmm. And in those hours or half hours that you allocate, what are you what are you doing per thing, or how do you structure all that? Well, the, the short game itself, bunker shots, chipping. You know, you get a, uh, a little disc, throw it on the green. You know, make it in the hardest position you could actually have on the green, like a flag placing and practice that shot and get the, the toughest lies, uphill, downhill, side hill, you know, plug balls, you know, all the different shots that you would get out in the golf course yeah. and try and master it. So when you got out in the golf course, you know exactly how to play it. Do you find that most people, they only practice their best shot rather than the tricky stuff that really is what happens on the course? Absolutely, you know, the best shot, you know, you, you're gonna get up and get a lot of confidence out of and, and you know, practice it and you become very good at it. But the, what you need to do is actually work out what you, your weakness is and really go and practice that so it's a strength. And that way you can actually get out in the golf course and not have a fear of any shot out in the golf course. Yeah. You know, be it water, bunkers, um, you know, around trees, under trees, over trees. You, you know how to play everything. And you've obviously been very successful. How many hours did you use to train a day? It used to be about eight hours a day I, I would actually do. You know, I'd split it up into the different areas. And you do six days a week, five days a week? I do four days a week and have Monday off. And then on the weekends, I'd, I'd play 36 holes on Saturday and 36 holes on Sunday. And, uh, wow. you know, that was my lead into being a professional golfer. And did you ever get bored or because you had goals and focuses it, it just kept driving you or how, how did that work well you never get bored with practicing golf if you get bored well go and play a different sport i mean you know our sport's different every day you know you got wind you got rain you know it's hot it's cold you know different golf courses uh, you know you really can't get bored of the sport and uh, you just need to use your imagination with your practice especially with your short game and your putting and things like that and you know it's enjoyable, so you should get out and do it. And so for a junior or a club golfer that really wants to get the best out, what's the, what's the key piece of advice you've got for improvement for them? Improvement? Really just go on the, the range and actually, you know, practice short game, putting, irons, woods, practice the whole, whole uh, array of shots and then just go out and play. And then whatever works, great. Whatever doesn't work, that's when you go back and practice it again. Yeah, very good. Because I notice most social golfers, they'll turn up on a Wednesday and a Saturday, they won't practice in between or beforehand, but you're saying it would be best to actually go to the range as opposed to get out and play? Yeah, that's right. I mean, when you go to the range, it, it, you go to the range to work on technique, and, and that's the time that you go there. Uh, when you've got a you know, big period of time, you know, five to eight hours, that's the time you go and work on your swing, your grip, your stance, you know, all that type of uh, scenario. But when you go in there to warm up before you go and play, just hit a few shots and then go and play. You know, a lot of uh, amateurs really don't get the right to actually get upset because they don't do enough practice. Nah. And if you don't do enough practice, well, you can't expect a lot.